favorite. And nothing goes better with hamburgers than corn on the cob. Let's begin by starting the corn. Depending on the quantity of roasting ears you have, you may want to select the large Dutch oven. Or in this case, we are only going to prepare a few, so we will start with the forecourt. We place the corn in the forecourt and add a few tablespoons of water to create the vapor. We place the pan on the burner and turn the heat slightly over medium with the valve in the open position. When we hear the whistle sound, we will know it's time to close the valve and turn the heat to the lowest possible setting. While we are waiting, let's preheat the large skillet for frying the hamburgers. Again, we start on slightly over medium heat with nothing in the pan while preheating. There's the whistle for the corn, so let's turn the burner to the lowest setting. Close the valve, and in about 10 to 15 minutes, the corn will be done. When the skillet is at the proper temperature for beating the water, it's time to place the hamburgers on the cooking surface. The hamburger will stick a bit at the start, but as the searing process takes place, the meat will begin to loosen. To prevent splattering, place the cover ajar, but don't place it all the way down on the skillet as the vapor seal will prevent the air from getting inside and the meat will not brown and sear. After a couple of minutes when the burger has released, we will turn and brown the other side. If you want to cook the burger more thoroughly, put the cover in place with the valve closed and reduce the heat to the lowest setting. Now let's have a look at those roasting ears. Notice the bright color has been retained and so has the flavor. And there you have it. For a great lunchtime meal, roasting ears with 